Yeah, we're still in Disney. Uh, it's really loud. This is Golden Blue Dude. Uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Remember, this channel is home of at least one college football video every stinking day. So we're in Florida. Let's talk about Florida. You know, they fired Dan Mullen, and the name that's hot right now, and I'm, I'm talking super, super hot, is Lane Kiffin. And what did I tell y'all? I told y'all that Florida was going to be really, really bad. I didn't know they were going to be this bad. I predicted fourth place in the SEC East. They, they could finish as low. See, we're at Disney. You're on Golden Blue, dude, by the way. Huh? So you're on Golden Blue, dude. Yeah, a lot of people here. Interruptions happen. That's okay. Hey, fans, I love it. I love it. Florida's not going to finish last in the SEC East, but, man, they could finish sixth. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see that. I didn't call it, but I did call fourth. People call me crazy, but... I, I know what I'm talking about, guys. And it really surprised me that they extended Dan Mullen. So, good riddance, Dan Mullen. I think Florida should go after Lane Kiffin. Now, the biggest question is, would Lane Kiffin want to come back to Florida? Because, remember, he did coach for FAU, and then Ole Miss offered the job to him. Is he willing to come back to Florida and coach the Gators? And, and here's the thing. I think Florida actually has higher expectations than Ole Miss. So would he be able to handle the pressure? Would he actually be able to handle success? Because Dan Mullen was in the same situation as Lane Kiffin. He coached at Mississippi State, had pretty good success, came over to Florida, and he, he, just, he couldn't handle the pressure. He folded under the pressure. Here's the crazy thing. Whenever Florida extended Dan Mullen, I, I laughed out loud. I laughed out loud. I was like, why are they doing that? That makes no sense. He's done nothing to get a contract extension. Even last year, they ended up with four losses with one of the best offenses in the nation. So that's that's flushing money down the toilet. That's what Florida did. They flushed money down the toilet. Now, I think Lane Kiffin is a different breed, though. I think his offensive prowess is much higher than Dan Mullen. Dan Mullen struggled with the offensive Florida. I don't know. He used to be great as an offensive guy, but that went down the toilet. And it was a back-and-forth thing because last year he did have a great offense, but then a terrible defense. He could never have two great units on the same team. So that, that's a situation that needs to get figured out. And I think Lane Kiffin could do that. Now, Ole Miss had a terrible, and I mean terrible, defense last year. We all know that. It's well documented. And I think the SEC East is a winnable conference. And we know that Georgia is a beast right now. We know that. But they haven't been this good consistently. I mean, even look at last year. Last year they were good, but not this good. They weren't elite. So I think Lane Kiffin at Florida makes sense. I think the SEC East is winnable. I mean, you have Shane Beamer at South Carolina. Yes, South Carolina's coming back, but they're still, they're not a threat, guys. And South Carolina beat Florida this year. How did that happen? I don't think Lane Kiffin will lose to South Carolina unless South Carolina was having a great team. So the bottom line is, my point is with that, the SEC East is winnable. I mean, Tennessee, yeah, they're up and coming. And Josh Heupel, he looks like he's doing a good job. And he'll have Tennessee uh, at a decent level. But I don't think they're going to be competing for the SEC East. So Lane Kiffin going to Florida makes a ton of sense. He's already coached in the state of Florida at FAU. I know Florida. Completely different level. But at least he's familiar with the territory. And he's familiar with the recruiting grounds. So I think that would be a I think that would be a great decision by Florida, and I think that would be a great decision by Lane Kiffin. Win, win, because Florida has the pedigree to be in Alabama. They do, but they have to get the coach. Alabama got Nick Saban. Could Lane Kiffin be the coach that Florida has been looking for ever since Steve Spurrier left? If you think about it, he actually kind of does remind you of Steve Spurrier. He's got that attitude, that cockiness. A uh, little bit of arrogance in there, but he knows what he's doing. So I think he would fit perfectly with the Florida culture. I think he's a winner, and I do think he would bring Florida back to prominence. Look at what he's done at Ole Miss. Yeah, people trashed him last year because the defense was terrible, but look at Ole Miss this year. The defense is not great, but that offense is humming, and he recruits at a high level. You give him a school like Florida, I mean, come on. Yeah, we all remember what happened at Tennessee and USC, all that stuff, but we can tell that he's grown up and he's learned his lesson. My personal opinion, Lane Kiffin and Florida would be a match made in heaven. That's the same thing that I've been saying about Tom Herman and Miami. I don't think Manny Diaz is the coach for Miami. Uh, he's not recruiting very well. He doesn't put the pieces together very well. I really truly think that Tom Herman would be a great coach for the Kings. Not only is he a great coach, 
but he's a great recruiter and he's got the swag that's that's one of the biggest things right now that Miami's missing is the swag and I think Tom Herman would bring the swag back to Miami that's the way you got to look at things it's not just are they a great coach are they a good fit for this school and to me Lane Kiffin would fit at Florida and Tom Herman would fit at Miami I'm telling you people call me crazy I know I know but to me in my head it makes sense y'all let me know what you think you think that's a good idea Lane Kiffin to Florida and Tom Herman to Miami and I know I know Manny Diaz he hadn't even been fired yet I think he's gonna be fired though and when he is fired they need to get Tom Herman I mean Texas fired Tom Herman after going seven and three in the COVID year they hired Steve Sarkeesian look what he's doing he could get fired after year one definitely after year two if there's no improvement so yes Tom Herman is a good coach they just cut him loose right before he was really about to take off four years really isn't long enough to actually have a team at an elite status I mean it's not like he was having bad years Steve Sarkeesian right out of the gate terrible terrible years so I think they cut Tom Herman way too way too soon and I think somebody will eventually swoop him up it has to be the Canes Miami would be the best fit for that dude He's got the air against the swag. He can recruit well, and he's a good offensive mind. Now, would he be able to get together a defensive squad that would get Miami's defensive swag back? Because there's two sides of the ball, offensive swag, defensive swag. And that's the biggest question at Miami, especially when they lost their defensive line from last year. And you could see it this year. Even their offense wasn't that great, but it was really the defense that hurt Miami this year. So Lane Kiffin to Florida and Tom Herman to Miami. Y'all let me know what you think about that. Hey, guys, I'm going to get off here. Enjoy the rest of my day at Disney. Hey guys, don't forget about my score prediction contest every single week. Even the weeks that I'm on vacation, I pick out one game and a tiebreaker game for my Patreons to pick. And whoever guesses the closest to the actual score wins $20 every single week. Uh, I'm on vacation and I haven't really been able to go through my emails, so I don't know who won this past week. But as soon as I figure it out, I'll let you know. Blue members get one guest prediction per week. Gold members get two guest predictions per week. And champion members get four guest predictions per week. And the prize is $20, and you can win every single week as many times as you want. So you can win a lot of money. And if you win the most times in the overall year, you're going to receive a plaque from Gold and Blue to declaring you the champion of year one of my score prediction contest. And we're going to do it year after year after year. The game for this week's score prediction contest, there was a lot of them to choose from. So this was difficult, but I'm going to pick number four, Ohio State, at number six, Michigan. And the tiebreaker is going to be number 13, Oklahoma, at number nine, Oklahoma State. So two great rivalry games. This should be a good one. So go join my Patreon page and email me your score predictions for your chance to win $20 every single week. And there's still plenty of money to win because I'm going to do the bowls, the playoffs, and the national championship. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.